All right, this is the first part of the force unit extra credit. And before you um, watch this, can you figure out these two parts of this triangle? Everybody tells me this is from geometry, so uh, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> but uh, here's your answers. There's a video that you should watch this if you can. Um, so I would really go there first. Uh, there's your setup and the answers. How to solve them is to use these, and if you need more than that, um, go watch the previous video. It's um, it's a pretty pretty standard process once you once you get the hang of it. All right, for this video, you need to be able to solve for individual force components of any angled force. So don't worry about vocab. But here's a scenario. Let's say you're pulling something and it's on like, it's on kind of on a track. So it's kind of stuck to the ground. You can slide it back and forth, but you cannot lift it up because it's like connected to a track. If you're pulling at an angle of 18 degrees, and we'll say this is a 10 kilogram mass, what's the acceleration? Now what's going to end up happening is this. We'll take this over here, and this is kind of like my little component demonstrator. If I make this match up, maybe tilt it a little. Perfect. What we can find out is if we take this 40 Newton force, we can break it up into an up and down force and a forward only force. We call this Fy and Fx. This is the y component of the angled force. This is the x component of the angled force. Now what happens is the y, let me get a nice red, the y is wasted. The y component does nothing for us because we can't lift up. It's connected to the track. So in the end, to solve this, only the f of x component is actually used to accelerate the box because it's on a track. Only the forward component counts. So I would need to find f of x to solve it. So uh, the red one could also be over here. And now we have a nice right triangle. This is the adjacent side. So cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So Catoa. Hypotenuse times cosine theta equals adjacent. So 40 cosine 18 equals what we want to find out. Calculator 18 cosine times 40 equals 38. So we have f of x equals 38 newtons. I'm not even going to bother finding this, but it would be sine, because this is the opposite, sine 18 times the hypotenuse equals the opposite. So we have 38 newtons is actually applied to make it accelerate. So now F equals MA. 38, well, equals 10 times A divided by 10. by 10 cancels. Acceleration equals 38 over 10 equals 
3.8 meters per second squared. Woo! Okay, here's another example. These are canals. Uh, they dug these all over Europe to um, to, sh to actually ship stuff before there were cars because there's way less friction for something floating in water. So they would put the boat in the water and it would hold tons of stuff. And then you would just get ropes going to horses and the horses would walk, walk along these roads. And you would uh, ship your stuff that way. So it's huge. It's when the coal was big. The Industrial Revolution, I think. So we have two horses pulling with 100 newtons at this 28 degree angle. I want to know what the acceleration is. Now what we'll have is, we have each one has components. We have a Y component, and in blue, we have the X component. And then over here, this one has a Y component, and an X component. Now if you just kind of look at the setup and think about what we know about forces, this is what's going to end up happening. They're, because they're perfectly equal angles, and perfectly equal forces, these will cancel. Let's say we do the math and it ends up being um, 60 newtons and 60 newtons. Well look, they're in opposite directions and we all know that when forces are in opposite directions, acting on the same object, they cancel. So these guys are gone. Oh, don't really erase all that. And those guys are gone. Now we're only left with the Y components. They are going to be in the exact same direction. And when forces are in the same direction, they add up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to find the Y force, Y component of each one. So we need to find the F of Y. And then add them together, and that total force will be our accelerating force. So we have, again, this is the, this is the angle, this is the adjacent. We need to find it. So you use cosine to find the adjacent times hypotenuse. So hypotenuse 100 times cosine 20 equals adjacent. 2 0 cosine times 100 equals 93 newtons. And guess what? They're the same. Because it's the same angle and same force. So this is 93 newtons. So the total combined is just 93 times 2. So I know that F, Y, net, the total in the Y direction, equals 186 newtons. I know mass equals 1,000 kilograms, so let's find acceleration. 186 equals 1,000 times A divided by 1,000. I don't know. Nope, wrong one. 186 divided by 1,000. One, ah, I should have known that. That was dummy dum dum. Equals one zero point one eight six meters per second squared. All right. So the next thing you're gonna do is um, watch the video when you're doing forces. Now, if they're at different angles, then it's a whole another ballgame, which might be your final question. Wink. Um, so the last video is covering how to do it, but the step-by-step -step process of adding, say, this. What would be the acceleration of this object? Well, I know it would, the net force is somewhere in this direction, but it's kind of at an angle. So you need to figure out the new angle, the resultant force, and then there'll be some practice problems in the book. You may take this test. You don't have to wait till Friday. You may take this whenever you feel ready.